Lockdown. Oh yeah, it's your boy, Kong Taxby. The Congo just got crazy. And of course, your boy, Bras Tax in this bitch. You already know. No point talking about the movie. You guys already seen it because it's been around for a very long time. So we're going to talk about the chance. But before I do, let's do an unboxing. And here we go. Great movie in its time. Uh, I didn't really have a desire to watch this in 4K, but um, I know you guys are probably interested to see how this will look. So we're going to check it out. But before we do that, we're going to unbox this thing. Nice, glossy, tasty slipcase. DTSX. Okay, okay. Took the slipcase off and guess what? Looks exactly the same in this bitch. Took the plastic off and guess what? Looks exactly the same. Digital code. And once again, here we have it. We've got the 1080p Blu-ray. Can't tell you about the region free stuff because it's a UK disc. Digitally remastered and fully restored. Interesting. And here's the 4K disc right here. And there we have it, guys. Apollo 13 4K unboxing. That was tasty, baby. Shot in 35mm. Visual effects, 2K, digital intermediate, 4K, DTSX master audio. So I know the 1080p Blu-ray been remastered, so I'm doing a direct comparison from that to the 4K Blu-ray. The 1080p remaster looks great, and the 4K is a nice uptick from the 1080p. No night and day, it is subtle. There are some scenes that look better than other scenes. I thought it was shot with two cameras, but guess what? It was just shot with one baby. But it's not a night and day difference to me. The detail looks good. Tom Hanks looks great. Tom, a younger Tom Hanks in this bitch. But he looked great. He looked great. Outdoor scenes look very nice and some scenes look shot. When they're in Apollo 13, all the knobs and all the buttons are very vivid, no homo. And inside the ship is very, very vivid. That's probably the most detail and especially in the space station, very, very vivid. You notice a lot of detail there. But still, it's an uptick from the 1080p. It's not a night and day difference. There is a lot of film grain. It's got that filmic look. So if some of you don't like it, you may have a problem. I don't know what to say. Tom Hanks, I'm looking at your filmography, and guess what? You play yourself in every movie, except maybe Forrest Gump. But you still lay one as an actor, I ain't gonna lie to you. There is great depth in this. There is very nice depth in this. When they're indoors, when Tom Hanks is speaking to his family, before he goes off and does his thing, there is great 3D pop in there. You notice the space, the layers, foreground, background, you notice it all. And when they're in outer space, wow. Great depth, great detail. In uh, some cases, it looks better than others. For the most part, it is definitely an upgrade in that department. You wanna know what the HDR is like? You going shopping with your girl, yeah? You going shopping with a girl, she done dragged you out to one of these malls, right? And she's making you sit there trying all these different dresses. Some of these dresses are quite dull in color, and some of these dresses are too colorful in this bitch. You still love her, but the girl just ain't consistent with her clothing choices. What do you want me to say? That's what the HDR is like. It's a little inconsistent for me. I was watching certain scenes and it looked dull and muted. When he say Houston we got a problem and they're all there, they're down in the, like the, what is it, the space station, the control station, whatever the fuck it is, whatever it is, it's very green. I don't know what to say. Some of the colors look a little oversaturated at times and some of the colors look muted as hell. I can't explain. Sometimes Tom Hanks looks natural and sometimes he look like he been doused in foundation in this bitch. Sometimes I'm like, cool, HDR's okay. And other times, I don't know what to say. But you can definitely tell there is a much wider color space at work here. But I think sometimes it's a little overdone. Black levels look fantastic. I don't know what you want me to say. They're in space, it looks like a TV done switched off from the side. Space looks like it could go forever. Space looks like you can walk in there and get lost in this bitch. Get lost in space. Scenes at night, dark, inky. There's not really much else I can say. When you're talking about black levels in this movie, you're talking about space in this bitch. Okay, visual effects, you're gonna have to temper your expectations because it is an older movie. Some of the visual effects, especially at takeoff, shit looks a little soft. But surprisingly, when they're in outer space, the effects from outer space look reasonably good. Look sharp, look detailed. I don't know what to say. 
there's nothing overly offensive and there's nothing that you're going to notice here apart from the visual effects being a little soft in parts you're good to go oh shit we have a lift off baby you tell your girl to go sit on the woofer see what happens you tell her to sit on the woofer at lift off you know what's gonna happen she gonna sit like this and you know what's gonna happen that shit is gonna happen subwoofer vibrating dtsx sounds great does this sound reference no but it kicks when it needs to kick this is all about atmosphere and the dtsx sounds great on the atmosphere side you hear shit from all around you're like oh shit when tom hanks says houston we got a problem guess what you also got a problem because you look around trying to figure out what the problem is in this bitch when shit gets extra crazy you're like oh shit Chicken, wait, what the hell? I don't know what I don't know what the hell to do. I don't know. The voice is clear and sharp, and the atmosphere is there. The subtleties for the most part are good, but I think it does lose some of them. Great high and low sound, great surround sound when it needs to have it. The DTSX is doing its thing. Apart from the obviously loud effects, it definitely packs less of a punch and detail on some of the subtleties. What can you do? And there you have it, guys. Apollo 13 in this beach. Worth a pickup. If you got the remastered 1080p, I'd wait. Because it's a small uptick from that. But it still is the best version of the movie to get. But not by much in my opinion. But it is still a great movie. It's totally up to you guys. Make sure you subscribe. It's 4K Rockstar. You already know.